Julie, administrator at Courtney Fellowship Baptist Church, and I just want to encourage you today. And I just want to talk about the glimpses of God and his creation that we can see. Um, God has shown his character and his, his perfection through all of creation. We can see it, whether it's through nature or people. But specifically, I want to talk about family and mothers, because Mother's Day is just around the corner. And uh, God was the one who established the family with, at the beginning with Adam and Eve in the creation. And uh, God has given us as mothers the um, ability to know him better and to understand him better. And through our mothers, not if you're not a mother, you have a mother. And so through that, we can understand a little glimpse of God's character. Um, God demonstrates to us patience. And as a mom, you learn to become patient. And it's something that you have to develop as a mom. There's so many moments when we have to have patience with our children. And so that uh, is a character of God that we can see selflessness. Um, when you become a mom, uh, all of a sudden your life revolves around your children. And um, you have to give up so much of the things that you want to do in order to, to take care of your children and your time, your your finances, everything. And, and that is God's character. God is selfless. He, he, put, he loves us enough that he sent Jesus Christ to die for us. Dedication. Um, God is dedicated to us, and just like a, that, as mothers, we are dedicated to our children and, and uh, to their well-being. Love. Um, I remember the first day holding my firstborn, and I just this overwhelming sense of love that surprised me. And I didn't know her. I knew nothing about her character or what she would do, but I loved her. And I, in a type of love I've never felt before, and that is what God has for us. He has a love for us that goes beyond anything we do, uh, anything we can become. He loves us. He loves us without stripping all that, that away. He loves us just because we belong to him and we're his children he created. Uh, protection. Um, we strive to protect our children. We do all we can to keep them safe. And it's just an instinct. It's a nature that we want to protect our children. And that's a character of God. That is how God is. He, he created the laws in the Old Testament to protect his children and to keep them safe. And so he is always protecting us. Uh, comfort in Isaiah 66, 13, it says, As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. And God comforts us. He is our comforter. And just like that, uh, we can learn as we become moms that we want to try and comfort our children when they're hurting, when they're lonely, when they're sad. And, and it gives us a glimpse of how God comforts us and, and uh, his desire to comfort us. Mother's Day is a fairly new concept in the North America. It started in the early 1900s. But it's not a new concept to, for God. God in Genesis, or sorry, Exodus 20, 12, uh, in the Ten Commandments, one of them is, Honor your father and mother so that it, you may live long in the land the Lord your God has given you. And it is one of the only commandments that came with the promise. And so we want to honor mothers and, father, or mothers and fathers, but specifically this weekend we, with Mother's Day. And we should honor our mothers every day. But... Uh, we specifically, as a church, we want you to know, moms, that we support you. It's not easy. Uh, the very first dysfunctional family, actually, was Adam and Eve. And and we learned about that. Ken Dick had talked about that when he was here and how uh, their son killed his brother. And uh, it's tough. Uh, we fail as moms. Uh, we're not perfect. We only get a glimpse of, of God's perfection. And, uh, I mean, I, there was many, many times when I failed. I remember one of my, um, not so glorious days as a mom and I was trying to get out of the house and I couldn't get the children all organized and I was stressed. And as I was backing out of the garage, I forgot to open the garage door. <laughs> it was not a good day, but you know, we all had days like that. We all had struggles. It's just part of who we are because we are not perfect as God is perfect. Um, but we want to let you know as moms that we stand beside you. If you're struggling, if you're, uh, you know, just need some support, don't keep it to yourselves. Reach out for help, whether it's your friend or one of the staff members at the church or someone you, you feel you can trust. Reach out for help. We are here to support you. 
So we want to honor you mothers this Sunday and, and uh, um, you know, just remember your mom. Your mom was not perfect, but she was trying to be all that she could be. And uh, thank you moms for what you do. And thank you that, thank you God that you give us a glimpse of who you are through mom, through moms and through being a mother. God bless you.